Portland Fire Department, please post the colors. Thank you. And if you could please remain standing as our Portland Veterans Affairs Committee leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to, the to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please retire the colors. Please be seated. I have the honor of saying both thank you and welcome. Thank you to everybody who has helped put this program together. Thank you for attending, and most importantly, thank you for your service. And on a personal note, for those of you who do not get the respect or the gratitude you deserved, welcome home to some of you. I know many of you, and I know that you all come from different backgrounds. But you all have something in common, and it is something that we are all very, very grateful for. When asked, you all raised your right hand, and you all took an oath. You all took the same oath. I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And today we are showing you our gratitude, and yet those words still ring true, as we have men and women like yourselves across the globe fighting to protect our freedoms and our independence. I think those words are so very appropriate today. Have we have seen these evildoers across the world still attacking our very freedoms, whether it is home, on our domestic soil, whether it is our allies, or our friends abroad, our very ideals are still under attack. 
I thought it was very appropriate that we'd be having this thank you and this celebration and acknowledgement of your service so very close to Independence Day. Because those are the same freedoms that we're fighting for as a nation. Thank you isn't enough. But I tell you that today, the commissioner is kind enough to join us to show you that as a state and as a nation, your service will never be forgotten. And that the freedoms and the ideals that you fought for, some of you a, a little while ago, some of you a little more recently, still hold this country together and we will forever be grateful. So as we go about this Independence Weekend, please know that your sacrifices will never be forgotten. The sacrifices of the family members who are here in the room. While many of you went off, it was your family who was still continuing to sacrifice, and that too deserves acknowledgement. Because it was the families who kept the home front secure, and it was the families that welcomed you home as we are today. So I'm going to be brief, because today is about you. But please know, from the bottom of my heart, that we thank you for your service. I now have the pleasure of introducing a colleague of mine, Commissioner Connolly, who probably should come with no introduction. He is a Connecticut native, a local boy, done good and come home, and someone who I have worked alongside with these last few years and who is not afraid to shy away from responsibility. He has been a great asset to this nation and a great asset to the veterans across this state. Um, he comes with many medals, but I have been told it when a, he's, he looks a little nervous now, that when introducing him, I should a yell air assault, and that that would mean something to the commissioner before I introduced him. So without further ado, Commissioner Connolly. And air assault right back at you. Can you hear me? All right. Well, thank you very much for that great introduction to Representative Christy Carpino. Uh, I will tell you, I've been on the job a little over two years now, and one of the first uh, parts of my job was to work with Representative Carpino. And I've got to tell you, you've got a great uh, state representative, uh, particularly for our veterans and our military servicemen and, and women in uniform. And I really appreciate the, the partnership and the hard work of Representative Carpino. Senator Linares as well. Uh, one of uh, my early events was out at uh, Westbrook and I got to meet the senator and really thank you, Senator, for all your great work in, in uh, supporting our veterans and our military men and women. First selectman, thank you for having me. And of course, the town clerk, I really appreciate being here. Uh, but of course, our most distinguished guest of honor of all, the great veterans from the state of Connecticut. Let's hear it. Portland. So really, it is the greatest honor for me to be your Commissioner of Connecticut's Department of Veterans Affairs. As you all know, America's military has been the guardian of our freedom since the birth of the Republic. And we think about uh, the special time we're in. Just two weeks ago, two weeks ago today, we marked Flag Day. We marked the day back in, well, first of all, the Army's birthday, June 14, 1775, when our colonies, citizen soldiers, first got together, organized to converge on Boston, and defend freedom and uphold our nation and uphold democracy. Two short years later, the Continental Congress saw fit to adopt the Stars and Stripes as our flag, as our symbol of our sovereignty and our liberty in our way of life here in America. And building upon that great tradition, building upon that first generation of Americans that demonstrated that selfless service, that sacrifice, that courage and devotion to duty are all of you. You know, think about this, this year in particular, the 100th anniversary of America's entrance into World War I, and all the many Americans who donned the uniform to, to work and defend freedom. The 100th anniversary of women in service, 
formally being recognized to serve in the U.S. regular military at equal pay and equal rank. How many women veterans are here with us today? We got a few. All right. Thanks all of you. Just, a, just six months ago, we marked Pearl Harbor, the attacks on Pearl Harbor that galvanized our nation. Uh, millions of Americans all across the country donning the uniform to go off and defeat tyranny and, and defend freedom. Uh, coming home to serve our nation once again in their communities all across the world. Over 4,000 Connecticut citizens gave their lives uh, in World War II. Any World War II uh, veterans here with us today? There we go. How about for our World War II veterans? Just 67 years ago, we marked the beginning of the Korean War. Again, Americans put on that uniform, went off to fight communism, preserve freedom. Any Korean War veterans here today? All right. Thanks all of you. The last couple of years, this year, again, we commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War. Representative Carpino mentioned it. Welcome home, particularly to our Vietnam veterans. How many Vietnam War veterans are here today? Last year, we marked 25 years since America's leadership of a multinational uh, multinational effort to halt the ruthless dictator free Kuwait. Any Desert Storm veterans here with us today? Thanks all you. And of course, last year marked 15 years since the horrific attacks on our own soil that ultimately led to Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom. How many post 9 11, post -9 -11 veterans are here today? A few of us, all right. To be sure, still fresh in our hearts, a 15-year period where Connecticut lost 65 of its own citizens, 65 who made what President Abraham Lincoln called that last full measure of devotion. They gave their lives to protect our freedom, to protect our security. Uh, and just uh, 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 two weeks ago, we lost uh, another uh, one of Connecticut's veterans, Sonar Technician 3rd Class Hoon, who was from Oakville, Connecticut, who gave his life in service uh, aboard the USS Fitzgerald. So, it continues. Uh, the fight continues, the service continues, that selfless sacrifice and courage and devotion to duty continue uh, around the country, around the world. We honor the service of all those who served in all the wars I just mentioned, and all the conflicts I didn't mention in peacetime, in wartime, on active duty, in, act, in National Guard, and in the Reserve. We honor all of your service today. I want to thank you. I want to thank uh, all of you again for having me today. It's going to be my tremendous honor to, to pin the Connecticut Wartime Service Medal on each of our veterans today on behalf of a grateful state. So thank you very much. And now it is our honor to give each and every one of you your personal pin and medal. So Going to hear from Senator Art Linares. Thank you. thank you, thank you, and good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for all, thank you all for attending today's Veterans Wartime Service Medal Ceremony. If you take a look around this auditorium, it's filled with heroes. I know I speak for my fellow state legislators and local elected officials 
when I say that we all have great respect for the many men and women who have bravely served our country. Your courage has given our country the velocity for freedom, success, for generations. In, in 2005, the state legislature created the Connecticut Veterans Wartime Service Medal to honor all Connecticut veterans who have served their country. This event is just one small way to express our appreciation for all that you have done. We are happy to play a role in giving these veterans long overdue recognition for their brave service. So thank you for all for being here. Thank you for your patriotism. And thank you for your commitment to our country. Thank you for your sacrifice in protecting the freedoms we hold so dear. I would also like to give a special thank you uh, to the commissioner. I've never heard so many Army Navy jokes uh, in my life than standing up there today with you. But thank you for all of your service. Uh, you have done an incredible job as a commissioner, and we're very lucky in the state of Connecticut to have you. Thank you. <laughs> in Department of Veteran Affairs staff, Tammy Marzik and Chuck Fred Fredericks, who have made this event possible here today, and of course, uh, my good colleague and good friend, Representative Carpino, who has done an outstanding job uh, serving the veterans and looking out for the veterans in the town of Portland. It's an honor to celebrate this occasion with you. And once again, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. <laughs>